you're walking with a taxi driver today on the Leeds Liverpool Canal up to the Five Rise Locks at Bingley we're going to make it around so we're parked at the side of the road free parking just near the bus stop we turn right there we head down through the houses crossing over the bridge towards the canal just before we cross the bridge that's looking to our left towards salt air it's only a short way in front of us there look that's looking to our right at the end of the bridge we head straight forward towards the canal so here we are at Hurst Lock on the Leeds Liverpool Canal we're turning right and following the canal path up to the Five Rise Locks at Bingley we'll just give you a quick shot to our left as you can see there's a car park we've got a couple of seats just in front of the car park you could start the walk from here if you want and there's a plaque showing you the history of Hurst Lock right let's get going so we're heading forward now towards Bingley just keeping to one side because it's a cycleway as well as we head forward the canal crosses over the river air yeah the river air is just down below we're just at the end of the bridge now heading forwards that's looking to our right hand side we can see the cows under the tree keeping cool on the top within a couple of minutes we come to bridge 206 we cross over to the other side where them cyclists have gone that's just a lovely house and garden just at the side of the bridge we're crossing over the bridge now plenty of people about we have to keep dodging the cyclists but it's pretty warm you're walking with a taxi driver today on the Leeds Liverpool Canal here we are at Dowley Lock got two boats going through now just going to open the other lock gate there Or maybe not. No, he's using the same gate. Well, the first one's away. And the second now. There he goes. We'll just keep following the barges up to the locks. We've got the fisherman's pub on our left. We're making our way towards Bingley. The three three rise lock first. You can hear the road traffic on our left. But where we are it's like another world as you can see. We're keeping a good look out for water balls and kingfishers because we know there is some in this canal and otters we're told. There we are in the middle of the lily pad a little water in. He's not bothered you can hear traffic behind us. 
There we are, that's the closest shot. Just stood on the lily pads there. As we pass under the road bridge, we can see the chimney at the back. And in the shadow of the bridge, you can see the fish. We can hear some behind us making a noise, so we can have a look in a sec. Just get these fish first. They just keep going out the shadow into the sunshine and then back in again. Must be slightly cooler under there. Right, we'll leave that for now. We'll have a look just above us. And just above us, in the bridge, we've got a nest of pigeons. There must be a young one in there. Right, let's keep going. We're at the other side of the bridge now. These look like old mills that's been converted into flats. Looks nice though. Even with the road on your left hand side, when you're down again the canal, it's very peaceful. You can hear the traffic, but I think after a while you'd forget about that. If you lived on the right, you would anyway. You get used to it. Right on path under bridge, we nearly walked into him or her. He just gave us a little hiss, just to let us know to be careful. Just to let us know that this is her patch of land. So we're keeping to the left. She's just down below in the canal. You can see the reflection from the houses at the other side. So we're not far from the three rise lock now. We've got a, another chimney in the background and I hope we've got a boat here, look. Boats, cycles, people walking. There's plenty happening on the Leeds Liverpool Canal. Hello. Well, there we are. They're heading towards Salter Air and Shipley. We turn back round and keep going. People certainly make a lot of effort. That's beautiful, is that? I could sit there all afternoon with a couple of pints of beer, I could. And that's the view 30 feet to your left. Even though it's industrial heritage, it can still be lived in and made to look nice. You can see the road that goes over the canal into Bingley. We've got a fisherman, we've got people walking, we've got cycles, we've got the road, we've got the train, we've got the canal. There's all sorts going on, it's great. It's absolutely covered. Here we are, he's caught one here, look. Well, that's brilliant, is that? And how many have you caught today? 74. 74! Yeah. Ranging from this to this. 74 on, on maggots, look. Yeah, on maggot. Well, there's your maggots, some pink and some white. There we are. Where it keeps getting a bite. Yep, I can't believe it. 
And another. <laughs> 75, where we're going to keep going. We'll see you again, mate. Good luck. Yeah. That were good of him, the fisherman, to uh, let us film. Within a few minutes of the fisherman, we're at the three rise lock. That's it in front of you. Let's go and have a look a bit further. Let's climb up the side of it. Yeah, we're steadily walking up the locks. When we get to the three rise locks, we've got a footbridge over the other side. We're going to make our way up to the five rise locks, have something to eat, and then come back and we'll be crossing over there. So we're leaving three rise locks now. Within a few minutes, we'll be at five rise. And a cup of tea. We keep going. By the lock, you'll see a plaque telling you about the dragonflies and the waterfall, the coots and the white clawed crayfish. And the geese. And within about five minutes we're at the five rise locks just on the top We've got the cafe. Let's go and have a look. We're on the top of the first lock now, steadily making our way up. Well, we're at the top of the five rise now. That's looking to our left. It is looking right. We're just about 100 yards past the top of the lock now. Just showing you what we've got. People riding, people running, people pulling boats in. and people just watching the world go by. Same as we'll be doing in a minute when we cross over and show you the cafe. That's looking to our left. And that's looking to our right. The little cafe there, we're going in for something to eat, a cold drink and an ice cream. So we're just crossing over the tiny bridge to the other side now. We're just sat having a cup of tea now at the cafe, just watching the world go by. Hopefully these two boats are going to go through and down the lock. There, they're starting to go through now. Bridge has been swung open, drop into the first lock of the five. Yeah, they're both in now. It's going to push the bridge back. There we are, we'll probably catch them up. <clears throat> there we are, we'll catch them up when we've finished our cup of tea.
Yeah, another one there. They soon got down, we've just finished our dinner. They're at the bottom there, look, one's disappearing. We're heading back down the lock, retracing our steps for a short way, and then we're gonna turn right over the bridge that we showed you early on. But let's take a close look at that barge now. There he is, he's been down the five flights. He's, uh, he's heading forward towards the three flights. We might catch him there. But keep going. So we're heading towards the three flights now. And the bridge. Well, we're at the three rise lock now. They're just going through it. So where we are, they're going through the second rise now, down to the first. They're in, they'll be shutting the lock gates in a sec. Yeah, there we are, shutting sh lock gates. And again, come on, put your back into it. There he is, he's giving it some ump now. There we are. There we are. There you can see the train in the background, the road and the canal. Canals first, then the railway, and then the roads. You can see the overflow, that's stopped now. They're going to drop down, but we're going to keep moving. We're going to cross over the footbridge to the other side, cross over the road and the railway line. We're at the other side of the bridge now, heading towards the traffic lights. We're going to cross straight over. We've crossed to the other side, looking to our left. You've got Bingley Town Centre, but we're heading straight forward over the bridge. That's the old white horse. And that's the river down below. And that's the traffic just behind me. If we look to the end of the weir, We've got a heron there. Let's see if we can get a close up. There he is, and this car's going pretty close to the back of me here. There's no footpath, but uh, it's beautiful as this. This is Bingley. Unbelievable. Tractor now, I'm going to have to move. We've just seen another one, just a bit closer in the white water. Can you see him? There we are, just a bit closer, but we're still on that bridge. Where well, this is fantastic. 
We're just maybe 300 yards off of Bingley Town Centre here. Well, I think we'll call that a day. We've got to keep going. And that's the other side. Beautiful place down by the river. We head forward up the road a couple of hundred yards past the brown cow looking for a left turn. So we head forward uphill 200 yards. When we see the gap in the wall, we turn left there into the trees. River air on our left hand side. And as you can see, beautiful garden overlooking the river. We walk through the trees for a short way. We come out into the open, heading straight forward. And you see the iron bridge on your left. Look to your right. You'll see the path. We go up the steps and turn left. So we just keep heading forward, just slightly uphill for a short way through the trees. River on our left. In a few minutes, we're out the trees, heading forward across the front of the house. That's the view from the front of the house. Looks like a massive park. And that's looking slightly right over the river into the park. There's one or two paddling and swimming. It's a lovely day. Within a few minutes, we go through the wall and cross over the footbridge. We're crossing Harden Beck. At the road we turn left. Just before we head forward we look right and take a shot of the fabulous flowers all sort of entwined round the staircase. We keep going. We walk forward passing the cricket field on our left and the golf course on our right There's not many playing today. I think it's just a bit too warm for them. We keep going. And then just on our left hand side, in the shade, we've got two horses in a tiny foal and it is tiny. Probably about 28 degrees today. So it's a bit warm for them, but they're keeping cool in the shade, flicking the flies off. At the end of the track, we just keep heading straight forward towards the main road. At the main road, we cross straight over, going through the gap in the wall. We're still following the river. Some of the gardens come down to the water edge. They're very well looked after. We're lucky, we've just spotted a pair of otters there, look. And as we look left towards the football pitch, there's just a fair few seagulls sat there, just sunning themselves. And there's just a few, probably maybe 20% of the seagulls. It's unbelievable how many there is. We keep going. On our right hand side, we've got the rugby pitch, but uh, there's some bird life. We know there's a white egret down here because we've been told. There's goose anders, but you know, we haven't spotted them yet. We we'll keep looking. So we just keep heading forwards. Just on our left. We've got a heron, but there was two. One scared the other one off. Right in the centre of my picture on the rocks. Well, I said there was two herons. As we've come a bit further, there they are. One's on the tree branch just above. That's a lovely shot with the flowers. I'm not going to zoom in much closer. Within two or three minutes, we'll be into the wood, going under the road bridge. We're still heading forward, following the river, heading towards the canal. We keep going. At the end of the wall, just keep heading forwards. 
We're passing under the railway bridge now. Still looking for kingfishers, we've seen them. We can't get them on camera. Just keep going till you come to the canal. We turn left. There's a bridge further on, we'll be turning right and coming back down the other side for a short way. Cross over the bridge and then drop off the canal path to your left just for a short way. The little path goes round the back of the houses to the bridge. We cross over and turn right for a short way. We walk forward a couple of minutes just before the bridge. We drop off to our left through the trees. We'll soon be back. We're walking forward now with the river air on our right. Little dog here hiding from owner, keeping cool. <laughs> Can you see? He'll dart out in a second. I've no doubt. We can only just see him though. He's there. hiding. <laughs> He's waiting for a stick. Is he? There he is, look, he's she, here. She, oh, she. Next task yeah. is to get her out. She's got to get her out now. <laughs> oh, right. She, um, she's quite a stubborn girl. Oh, right. She's she... to take shoes and socks off before now and get in and get... We keep going. We just spotted that little dog playing hide and seek there. Lady said she might have to get her shoes and socks off to get him out. Gets a bit stubborn. Just keep heading forwards till you see the rowing club in front of you. We go to the far side and turn left, up the hill. When we come to the track, after a few minutes, we turn right. That takes us back to our car. We hope you've enjoyed our walk up to the Five Rise Lock at Bingley. You've been walking with a taxi driver today. <laughs>